Hi folks, in this uh, unit our goal is to eventually study uh, what we call rational functions. So in other words, uh, functions uh, whose equations are made up of a quotient of polynomials. Okay, so a couple things to recognize is that in a rational function the numerator and denominator individually are polynomial functions. Okay, but uh, as a whole it can't be a polynomial function because we're allowing ourselves to divide by um, the variable. Okay, but as we try to usually do is can we determine things about these rational functions by looking at their individual components which are polynomial and which we know a lot about. Okay, so in order to start we're actually going to start real simple is we're actually going to start with functions that are reciprocals of polynomials. Okay, so say we just study the function 1 over x cubed plus x. Okay. Now, when we talk about reciprocal functions, we're going to focus mostly on reciprocals of polynomials, but you can even study the reciprocal of any function. You could study the reciprocal of sine x, okay? And we will see one example where we're not using the reciprocal of a polynomial, okay? And again, if we want to study these types of functions, let's actually go back to something you already studied last year, which was the reciprocal of essentially the simplest polynomial, okay, which was just 1 over x. So you would have studied this last year as its own function. You might have done some tables of values and you would have figured out what the graph of this function looks like, okay, and you realize that this function has asymptotes, both a vertical one and a horizontal one. You would have determined some nice points. So we're going to start by studying this function again, except specifically as the reciprocal of the function y equals x. So we're going to try to use information about the function y equals x to determine the major characteristics of the function y equals 1 over x. Okay, so take a look at your investigation sheet here on page 1 and you see that I have both of these functions um, uh, both of these functions graphed here for you. Okay, so you should be familiar with this function. Okay, but we want to look at it as the reciprocal of y equals x. Now, when we talk about characteristics of a function, remember what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, x-intercepts and behavior, uh, maxima and minima, domain, range. Okay, so in particular, what I want to do is I want to study y equals x, and I want to see if those major characteristics of y equals x, so for example, the fact that it has one x-intercept at zero, the fact that as x goes to positive infinity, y also goes to positive infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, y also goes to negative infinity. So what I want you to think about is I want you to think about as you look at the y values on the function y equals x, what would happen if you took the reciprocal of those values? Okay, so I want you to think about how you could use the basic characteristics of y equals x, okay, to determine why the function y equals 1 over x should look like this. Why should it have this asymptote at uh, x equals 0? Why should it have this asymptote at y equals 0? Okay, are there any special points on both of these functions that they both share? And why do they share those points? Okay, so you'll stop the video now and uh, try to come up with some ideas and then we'll take that up in a little bit.